Hello everybody, it's 10 from the letter 10. Welcome back to another video of another game. This is Jack Move Icebreaker, which is like a demo to the full Jack Move game by So Romantic and Hype Train Digital. Uh, this is free right now. And for everybody who plays the game for 10 minutes or more, and I saw this on the Steam page, they can actually get a free copy of the full game when it comes out. Let's go through the options real quick. We got our music options, video options, language options, control options. I'm not gonna turn any of these quick victories or perfect jack moves on. Let's start a new game. And let's go. I'm gonna read out the dialogue too. So Bright Town Business District. Another day, another dull data heist. This is it? Where do you even find these jobs? Too glamorous for you? Haha, ha, very funny. You're not the, wo the one dumpster diving into corporate server for a stupid blackmail material. For a stupid blackmail material. We need to pay the bill somehow, partner. Wait, there's a monomine goon. Seriously, Ryder? No wonder this job pays. It's a corporate rat nest. I didn't know. Make yourself scarce. Stat. All right, she's gonna run behind the dumpsters. We should pull out. What? No way. You said it yourself. We need to pay the bills. And you said it was a rat nest of trouble. Don't get cocky. No, we can't risk messing around with corpse. Remember what happened last time? That was like months ago. We're to we've totally learned new stuff since then. It was last week. Hey, what are you doing back there? Well, I sure hope so, because we're in deep now. Got those mo new moves ready from your Uncle Gun Gwyn? Handy? Gwyn? Yeah, Gwyn. Been practicing all week? Then get ready. It's time to shine. Fight time. Oh, cool transition. Yo, I like this game. Cyber Clash. Great start, Noah. I've not even finished configuring this new deck of yours yet. It's a little different from what you're used to, so let's have a little tour. Up here, we have turn order. This dynamically predicts who's going to be hacking us, smacking necks. Great for strategically planning your next, your uh, planning your upcoming moves. There's no necks in there. <laughs> Vitals, health. Make sure this doesn't ever hit zero. Data. This is used when executing software abilities. Okay. Up here is status readout. This will let us know what's popping and who's dropping. Okay, so this is tutorial right now. Let's get this baby calibrated. Why don't you choose hack from the menu and sock it to this goon? All right, partner. So we're going to select hack. Mono mine security. Ooh, 62 damage. 25 retaliated damage. You've really been practicing. You could take it from here. Another whack ought to do it. All right, let's do another hack. 82. Nice work, Noah. You really showed him. Yo, this victory music is amazing. Let's enjoy it. Yo, this music is amazing in this game so far. That actually wasn't too bad. Thank you, thank you. I told you I've been practicing. Good for you, girl. Now, to find that server. It's in some exec office on top of the, um, on the top office level. It's just the office for virtual dirt. Okay. All right, let's look at the menu objectives. No. Primary. Let's see if there's anything I can select over here, like any chests. No? No chests or anything. Okay. Alright, it's hidden doors. Gribble and Associates Lobby. 
When you see the threat level indicator in the top right of your screen that there's danger near, the meter will fill as it gets more dangerous. Once it's full, danger can strike at any time. Okay, so we gotta watch out for that threat level at the top. Let's get this chest. Plug in. You got the you got the mini filter chip hardware. Load it from the hardware menu in your inventory. Boost software defense a nice amount. Yeah, let's do this. Hardware modules allow you to augment your cyberspace deck with different effects like extra RAM or higher attack rating. You can find different modules at special electronic shops or even in trash pile in a trash pile if you look carefully. You start with one hardware expansion slot. You can upgrade your cyberspace deck to increase that amount at electronic shops. Install a module by selecting an expansion slot and pressing A. You can then choose an available module from that list. Okay, mini filter chip. With an expansion slot or available module is when is available is selected, you can see that the effects it will have in the right hand panel, including any stat increases or decreases in any subsystems. Okay. So go hardware, empty, mini filter chip. That's it. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. All right, fight time. I love that transition to the battle. Cyber clash number two. All right, I got your software execution system up and running. Software allows you to execute more powerful attacks or abilities. Okay. Executing software uses up data. You can see how much data you have over here, remember? Oh yeah, under the subsystems, the blue one. Cyberware, Electroware, and Wetware are the three types of damage dealing software. Different enemies are weaker or stronger against different types. These suckers are weak to all of them. Okay. There are also tons of utilities that can heal, help heal you, increase your defense, decrease an enemy's attack, or reveal more information about an enemy. And that's just for starters. Okay. Try choosing Execute and running Glitch on one of these guards. Alright, Execute. Glitch uses 6 data. And we'll attack this first one here. Ooh, 195 damage. Whoa, Giga flopping. Damn straight. All right, finish off this chump any way you, you like. We'll use the same attack. We'll go execute, glitch. 195 damage. I love the victory pose as well that she does. 504 experience points we're at right now. All right, let's take this lift. Taking a look at my hardware again. Okay. It's Exito. Ooh, another chest. Dirt level's low. So it moves as we walk. A data packet. Use this to refill your data meter from the. Okay, cool. So I can use patch and I can restore my, my data packet. My data points. Okay, cool. Nice sprite work as well. Two of them again. Ow. Massive damage. Ouch, Noah. You're looking a little beat up there. Don't worry, though. We can fix that in a nanosecond. Uh, one of the cool things about your new deck is the virtual memory system. This allows you to use one of your turns to swap out your loaded software abilities. Because the selling software takes a turn, it could be a risk it could be risky if you really need an ability right away. That's where the cash action comes in handy. It allows you to delay this turn until your next one and run the defense subsystem whilst waiting. Let's give that a run and see how it works. Choose cash from the action menu. Okay. Defense goes up. Check it out. Defend is now listed in your, in your running sun systems. Cool. All right, we took a little less damage there, and now we have some breathing room to install and execute our healing software. Choose install from the action menu, and let's peep how that works. All right, install. Software cause RAM blocks to install. You only have a limited amount of RAM, so you'll have to juggle which software you want installed at any one time. You can upgrade how much RAM you have at electronic shops. Okay? To install software, select a block and press A to choose from the list of available software. The metadata on the left-hand side shows you how much RAM blocks an item takes, the type of software it is, and how much data it costs to use. 
Try installing the Introverse software, uh, Intervene software. There is one RAM block available for it. Hit B once you've installed the software and choose to save your changes. Okay? Intervene. Let's equip it. Save. Now we have Intervene installed. We can execute it and get you fixed up. All right, execute, Intervene. Denoa. Go from 61 health to full health. Cache is also a great strategic tool if you think an upcoming attack might be a powerful one. Gotcha. Sweet treats. You gonna let me well in these Momo mooks now? Sure thing, kiddo. Let him have it. Ow. 82. 25. 25. Scared of one. Let's do cash again. So we can get healed and also do some attack here. So we're gonna use intervene. And we're gonna hack the Momo Mine security guard. Adios. Oh, it's over. <laughs> All right, let's grab this other chest here. Health packet. Sweet. More health we can always use. Alrighty, the material we're looking for should be on that terminal. Okay, I'm in the target's account. Good. Grab what we need and get out the, of there. Hold your Trojans. I'm working on it. Nothing. Nothing. Wait. Yes! He's been sending a lot of pictures to this one account. You rock, Noah. Yuck. Who does that? Is that even healthy? What, what is it? I want to see. Of course you do, you freak. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. Sweet. That's next month's power bill sorted. What's next? Do I go back out the way I came? No. Looks like security's on high alert in that direction. Too high, Noah. Look out. Another fight. And we have a new enemy type. We've been ambushed. So they get to go first. Still out of slash. And beat. All right, let's use cash. We're going to use hack on the power dresser. And we're going to use hack on the moment mine security. Done 79 health. 54. Let's use cash again. I think I'll be relying on cash a lot. To get that defense in and get those two turns in a row. Check it out. Your JM meter has maxed out. That means you get to pull off a super special jack move ability. Sweet. You'll need to perform a special sequence of inputs. And the more inputs you get timed correctly, the more damage you'll do. Input a perfect sequence for maximum devastation. Awesome. Let me try it out. Kilowatt. Killer watt. Oh, it's DDR. Perfect. Eleven 1 hundred damage, hell yeah. That was amazing. It felt like I was actually inside my deck, like at one with cyberspace. Yeah, those abilities are gr gritting cool. Gritting cool. I think that about covers the basics of your deck in cyberspace battles. There's a couple more options available, but I'll let you figure those out. Good luck. Now let's get healed before we move on. Phew, that was a close one. I'm sending you a different route. Head out the back up the, and up the stairs. Up the stairs? Trust me. Escape. All right, time to escape, but we're going to heal first. We use intervene. There we go. And let's head upstairs. Oh, I didn't need to do that because there's a healing machine right there. That's all good. Head upstairs. Threat level's getting up there. We're going to come up to battle soon. We got two chests. Battle time. Against, oh, we got a doggy. Woof, woof. All right, we're gonna use cash.
power poochies and how? That increased the attack. Okay. So let's get rid of the Momo Mine security. Use both attacks. So we don't have to worry about it. Vicious Bite. No. The 27 damage to me there. 64. Do it again. Come my power pooch. Good job, Noah. Kind of wish this was on Kickstarter so I can get some sweet rewards. Ding ding, a health packet. Sweet. Got another one. And there's. We're gonna go ahead and use intervene again. And I see another chest over here. Oh, got another battle. Slice, slice, slice. Just two slices, okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of the power dresser. First. Use cash again. Right, 1812 for experience. But let's see what this chest is over here. Another health packet. Sweet. Alright, let's get out of here. Rooftop. Grimble and Associates hover pad. Um, short circuits. Um, this doesn't look good, Ryder. I'm trapped. Got a good plan to get me out of here? One minute, pal. I'm not sure I have a minute. Boss fight. A security brute. That's a cash. Let's try to use execute and glitch. See if this works. Oh, you missed! Alright, we'll do a punch then. Roid Rage! Somebody's angry. Alright, let's cash again here. Crazy punch. Jeez. Good thing for the cash. Let's try to heal first. And let's do another cash. Cash seems really overpowered. I'm not complaining though. Let's just glitch again. 240 damage. Sweet. Let's try it again. Miss. Miss. Damn. Lots of misses here. Alright, let's cash again. Nice. Jack move. Kilowatt. Alright, let's kill her watt this again. One, two, three, go! Perfect. Sweet. Uh oh. Crazy punch again. Uh let's restore my data packet here. Oh we got two attacks, damn. I wasn't paying attention there. Let's just cash again. Nice hack. Cash again. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a punch, and then I'm gonna cash. Till I get my jack move up again. Cause that seems like the smart thing to do. I just try to let's heal up again. Some people would say cache instead of cash, and those people are wrong. All right, it's cash again. Get 
really close on that jack move. Nice sucker punch. The the attacks really have a real power behind them. You can feel them. Wow. You suck, dude. Getting very close to that jack move. Jack move time. I should do it. Kill the what? One, two, three, go! Perfect! Take that 1885 damage and you are eliminated. Good job, Noah! Ooh, we leveled up! Toughness, scut, scrock, sass, snaps, and luck all went up. Ryder, any news on that plan, dude? Noah, do you trust me? I really hate when you ask me that. You're gonna hate this next bit even more. I want you to jump off the building. What? In three, two, one. Okay, I hate you for this. Jack move, icebreaker. And that is the demo. Now we're in Noah's neighborhood, Bright Town. That was fun. Well, that got a bit hairy. What are you talking about? We totally had that under control. Right. Of course we did. Thanks for the cab service, by the way. Thank Mono Mind. The system in their delivery drones is so simple to hack. It's nearly an insult. All right, hacker genius. Who's being cocky now? Just be happy we got there in the end. You're the one who wanted to go through with it. You know, this drone trick is pretty neat. Risky, fun, a bit of a fluke. It's like something Ming would have come up with. All we need now is a random encounter with the Mafia and a full bullet wound to remember that night by. Uh, Ryder? I'll deliver the goods to the client. You get some rest. Hey, come on, don't be like that. It was a joke. Besides, the guy was a loose can, and he made you miserable. Isn't it about time? Ryder? Ryder? Damn it. Nice going, Noah. Home to bed, then, I guess. Head home to bed. Before we do that, we're gonna check out this neighborhood. You shouldn't jump drones, you know. Running engines on overtime is bad for the environment. You mean the smog-filled, chemical dust, post-war environment? You want to save the polar bears or not? Okay. Hey, Noah, late night? Let's see what's up here. Let's see if we can talk to these two kids. Nope. Anything in the grate? No. Hey, Noah, don't go that way. There are a ton of mean-looking guard people snooping around. Teehee, you're always in, you're always in huge trouble. Takes a troublemaker to no one. Thanks, kids. This music is really good. Oh wait, there's a chest over here. Let's go check it out first. These orchids are nice. This, this house music. It's pretty good. Nothing on the computer? Alright, go to bed. And that's the demo for Jack Move. Uh, I did wish the game. You should too. This demo is free, like I said, for everybody to check it out. And that is the icebreaker to Jack Move. Yeah, I had a blast playing that, and I'm definitely going to get the full game. Fingers crossed I get a free copy, yeah, you know, as part of their giveaway. But if not, I'll still buy the game. But that is going to be that. If you know of any other indie games you'd like me to try, please leave a comment or message me on Twitter. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!